Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. You are one of 7 billion people living on Earth at this very moment, and you are one of the 100 billion Homo sapiens to ever have lived here over the course of history. And that, my friend, is pretty amazing. Especially because the probability of you existing at all is incredibly, incredibly low. If you were counting, that was two incredibly's. See, in most cases, in order for you to be alive, your parents had to meet. Assuming that your mother could meet, let's say, one new person a day during her prime dating years, she would have met around 10,000 people, which, in her time, was about 0.00025% of the world's population. But because of geographical reasons, if we limit her available bachelors to about 5% of the world population, she had about a 1 in 20,000 chance of meeting your dad. Not super likely. And that's just them meeting. To have you, the two have to talk to each other, although not necessary, go out on a date, although not necessary, and eventually conceive a child. And the chance that that combination of sperm cell and egg turns out to be you is inconceivably small. See, your mother has about 300,000 eggs left by the time she reaches puberty, and will only release around 300 of them. Furthermore, men produce hundreds of billions of sperm cells in their lifetimes, any of which could reach that egg. Feeling pretty rare yet? Or slightly weirded out? And keep in mind, you existing doesn't just depend on your parents, it also depends on your parents' parents, and their parents, and the parents before that. You see where I'm going? And even more, if you want to get into the physics of life existing, it all depends on the finely tuned physical constants, like the electric charge, the gravitational constant, and even the dimension of space-time. If any one of these were different, incredibly important atoms like carbon would either be too unstable, or the electric electrons would collapse into the nucleus. And if there's no carbon, macronutrients like proteins, lipids, carbohydrates, and nucleic acids would not exist. And therefore, neither would you, my friend. Well, isn't that a lovely thought to end on? Leave me a comment about something you're grateful for, along with anything else you want me to talk about. All in all, you are so lucky to be alive right now. Take advantage of it and live every day to the fullest. And if you want to know when we're all gonna die, <laughs> hypothetically, of course, check out this video. And if you're on your mobile device, check the link in the description. Make sure you come back every Monday for a brand new video. As always, I'm Blocko, this has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.